You've been listening to President Biden present the Medal of Honor to a Vietnam War veteran, retired Colonel Paris Davis, an honor long overdue. Absolutely. And Colonel Davis, in fact, released a statement where he thanked CBS News. He thanked uh, Catherine Herridge, who's been reporting on this injustice for years, for helping to close the circle. Uh, President Biden began this ceremony by saying, this is the most consequential day since I've been president, which is no small, no small uh, statement thing, yeah. and a real American hero here finally being honored at the White House. We're going to move on now to today's top stories. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Elaine Quijano. And I'm Errol Barnett. We're very happy to be with all of you this Friday. Here are the top stories we're tracking right now. Disgraced South Carolina lawyer Alex Murdoch was sentenced to life in prison this morning, just hours after a jury convicted him of murdering his wife and son. We are at the courthouse there in South Carolina. Tornadoes ripped through multiple states, destroying buildings and leaving thousands without power. Where the system is heading next? President Biden meets with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz today, what they're expected to discuss and the potential impact on the war in Ukraine. And hundreds of Iranian schoolgirls were allegedly poisoned. Later this hour, an expert joins us to discuss the state of the country as well as Iran's uranium enrichment program as talks continue in the nuclear deal. Plus, the House Ethics Committee has launched an investigation into embattled Congressman George Santos, what this means for him, as well as other high-profile ethics probes there on Capitol Hill. Alec Murdoch will spend the rest of his life behind bars. That's right. The judge handed down the former lawyer's sentence earlier today, ruling that he also would not be given any chance of parole. The jury in the case convicted him yesterday of murdering his wife and 22-year-old son. Murdoch spoke in court during the sentencing, saying he would never hurt them. CBS News' Michael George has more on this.